So as Americans dish out more money for natural foods, are they really getting what they're paying for? Jane Wells has the dirt on what it really means to be organic and if you should trust it. At last month's meeting in Vermont of the National Organic Standards Board, a government group which sets rules for the organic industry, local farmers protested outside that not everyone's certified organic grows in soil. And inside the meeting? Not one egg laying operation had any chickens outside. Another group accused the USDA organic program of being in bed with big agribusiness. It's a sign that some want to panic about organic, an industry which has grown to nearly $40 billion in sales last year in the U.S., closing in on nearly 5% of all foods sold. But now there's so much competition, um, and with kind of the recent challenges, growing challenges, with especially with the drought, the recent drought, um, you know, we've seen costs rise, and. Um, and prices kind of come down. Garrett Nishimori's family has been growing organic greens for 12 years in California. There are 24,000 certified organic producers in the U.S. and more outside the country sending food here. But food bearing that USDA certified organic label isn't actually checked by the USDA, but by third-party contractors. Is the webbing from the mealybug. And certifiers are paid by the farmer. We got fungal growth. To become certified organic, a farm cannot have anything conventionally grown on it for three years. Producers have to submit a plan and provide proof they're not using banned pesticides or herbicides. There's a lot of paperwork and an annual audit, like the one Tim Chang of certifying agency CCOF was doing with Debbie Ziegelbaum of Robert Sinsky Vineyards in Napa. And this is a reveg planting in the, mm -hmm. in the creek. Chang looked everything over, but he did not take soil samples or test for pesticide residue. His company says that's done 5% of the time, and there are also surprise inspections. But former certifier Misha Popoff, who worked for a different agency, said he never did any of that. Sadly, we can't trust the organic label right now. It's a, it's a bureaucratic, honor-based system. And, and that's unfortunate for all the honest organic farmers out there. I think it's really a mistake to make the assumption that the system is full of cheaters. There's no evidence for that. It's an honor system, right? I mean, there, there are things that, that can be done, like they do testing to make sure there aren't residues that, and things, but when it really comes down to it, it's an honor system. The bigger the industry grows, the greater the challenge to police it, especially foreign foods certified as organic by foreign inspectors. At the same time, plant pathologist Steve Savage says conventionally grown food in the U.S. has never been safer. There's probably no place in the history of humanity that has had such an amazing, diverse, consistent supply of food. And yet, maybe nobody in history who is worried about it more. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, Los Angeles.